the customer called me and they told her that I for some reason took the order and never delivered it or something okay guys I am doing my first order it's a Popeyes on Uber Eats and they're giving me an add-on so let me just do this too why not where's that oh did I click it already okay why is it so like sometimes when it's a good one and you're trying to like accept it and then hopefully you get it because sometimes there's some glitch where it's like what happened to the order and it was a good one too so yeah I'm doing more deliveries guys and let's see how I do I think I could have dashed I have a 530 I should probably dash and then pause my pause my DoorDash so I'll have DoorDash on I had Walmart on <laughs> I had Walmart Spark on and even though it was pretty good and stuff but they were just shopping orders and sometimes yeah I got let me see what did I okay I don't want to accidentally accept any Walmart one but yeah I would only do curbside if it's pretty good okay let's go inside now I think it took a while to get a parking here let's go around in there is this like a whole line? Yeah. Is there a promotion or something? I don't know, it's pretty packed. Oh. Just like, I'm just waiting out I there. see. For, oh, you, you guys ordered already, right? I just have a pickup. This is picking. Yeah, some pickup, please, please. Yeah, no, please. And some uh, spicy sauce, and some ketchup. Four spicy sauce and four ketchup. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm picking up for Joe Beans. Or the cheesy specials only Oh, thank you. And you too, thank you. Oh, thank you. This side should be the odd numbers and I looked at the address but it would be like I'm looking for an 847 then next door it's like 845 see this is 845 but I saw the thing it should have a red gate let me see if it's this one oh yeah the one with the red gate was this 84 this should be an 847, but no, it's 845. Oh, it's in the same building. Like, I don't know if you see right there, it says 847. Okay, it says to enter this code, walk past the pool, go on three cases of stair. They're on the third floor. Okay, let me see. Gosh, the key thing is not working. All right, I just told him that I couldn't go in, and he says he's coming down. I should I wait at the cold? I mean, where the cold of the other one is? Did you pass the mail room? Did you pass to my room? So now it's 
set him at the right gate. Was it closed? Okay, I, well, I, I didn't know. Hmm. Jacob? Yeah. Okay, here you are. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, bye bye. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, it's a hotter day today, guys. Like, it's 76 degrees. I'm still wearing my hoodie because the last time it was too hot and they didn't wear it. Threw it in the back and somehow it slid off or something and I lost it. Guys, ooh, Popo. Um, I'm here at Walmart pickup and so it's like already 656. It slowed down all of a sudden. I've been on for two hours 16 minutes. So I this one is like a nine dollars 3.7 miles but I was in um, in the Costco area and then it came about a mile ish here and then I'll just wait to get this and then see what else. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. It, it glitched. I'm sorry. Okay, no yeah, problem. You can, yeah, okay, sorry, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so yeah, I decided to take it because it was decent, you know, like $9, three miles. Then I don't know if I caught them turn on my camera on time, but they said there's a glitch. And I got a contact um, support. Oh my goodness, this whole like craziness hasn't happened since Black Friday. But here we are again. Yeah, staff came and said I had to cancel the order because there's a glitch that they just barely started on the order and that I had just had to cancel it or something. So I'm just calling if uh, you can help me with that, please. And um, would there be possible like uh, compensation for the effort, like driving here or anything by any chance? I see. Okay, thank you so much for that information and thank you so much for bringing this concern to our end. We don't have to worry. I will hold you about this one, okay? okay. I just want to ask, uh, what is the customer name so I can try to pull up the order? Let me see. Um, Marlene. Uh, I should try to refresh my app, right? Um, uh, yeah, it's gone. It's, um, uh, it's not on my screen anymore. Okay, that's great. Is there anything else that I can do for you? Uh, was there like compensation for the glitch because I was in another area and I had to drive here for the order? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be worried. Since you already marked as arrived, you will still get compensated for the order, okay? Oh, okay. I appreciate it so much Um, and that's all I need help with today. You're very much welcome. Is there anything else that yeah. I can do for you? Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Uh, have a great night. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. And okay. yes, and yeah, before we end this call, you will receive a quick survey within the next hour and how I assist you today. It will be highly appreciated if you can respond to it for us to know how we can better assist you in the future. And again, this is Nika Allo from Walmart Delivery Support. Have a great day and stay safe. Okay. Bye, thank you. Um, yeah, every time there's some glitch, some Walmart problems, like for example, it says the item's gonna be ready like right now, but you gotta wait 30 minutes or something. That hasn't happened. It's been faster. So ever since that Black Friday problem where you're in line for like hours and then they're still packing the item, the or like how they're organized the organization is not organized or the coordination is like you know the items would already be out but another person would say they're still finding the items and then it turns out it was there all along and stuff like all that chaos has been over with since black friday that i experienced and i like try to you know avoid as much as possible but because like 
Um, oh yeah, I didn't tell you. Yeah, there were orders like, you know, I declined a $5 one mile one. I was just right there too, the pizza store, and I should have just taken it and done that instead because then I saw this $9 three mile one and I thought, okay, um, let's do this. Although I had to drive like almost two miles here. Then every time I get so mad when there's a glitch and problem, but it turns out um, the compensation is like seven bucks. See, that's the only earnings for this week which is the Tuesday seven bucks so okay I guess it's seven bucks without me having to drive except for that like two miles coming to the Walmart store so even though um yeah problems resolved and stuff um I, I didn't even tell you guys what they said was that more than one driver was assigned to that order so yeah it wasn't like that kid was saying um that um that they were still packing more than one driver like five or six or so probably got that took that same order and it's all this crazy glitch I don't know how it even happened but let's wait for food order okay I'm gonna de-stress with more food so I just wanted an egg roll but I decided ooh, it looks so good it looks pretty good I got a chow mein and some spring roll and also orange chicken so there's this DoorDash one, like finally, I think the whole day it wasn't that good. There was some, like this $12, 10 mile one, double pickup that I defined. Two bags. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, have a great day. issue was I was going around two times because it looked like a street that it couldn't go through like I thought it was a one-way street let me see oh is this okay I can enter it <sighs> then I, I was also distracted because Walmart told the customer that they canceled for me that I took the order like what the heck they told me to cancel it right but then they gave the customer my number what the heck so she was like she ordered since the morning and she still hasn't got it wait so that's D is this G I can't see <laughs> Wait, hold on, is that the back one? It's supposed to be a white door. <sighs> okay, I'm an idiot. It's right here, oh my gosh. Okay. The dog's like, I was at the wrong door and the doggy was coming up there like, barking at me. Okay, so yeah, that delivery, um, there was some entrance that it looks like only cars can come out so I never turned into it because I saw that the apartment was there I was like okay I should find a parking then walk into it after like two times of like going around the customer called and said yeah it's a street you can actually go into it cars can go in and out then I finally was able to go in there and pull into a driveway and stuff but before that okay again with walmart glitch and issues and the blame was put on me the customer called me and they told her that i for some reason took the order and never delivered it or something because she said she called them and it's possibly that walmart that gave her my number but they never brought me the order. The first thing when I opened the door and I wanted to give them my driver code, they said, okay, you have to cancel it. There's a glitch and we're still looking for the order. Support, um, you know, when I got the conversation, when they canceled that order for me, said there's more than one driver with that order all at once. So yeah, so that was canceled through support. But for some reason, they never gave me the order but gave my number to the customer. I thought I recorded because I was like, you know, lost and trying to find this delivery location. And this lady called me and was just like this 
I really understand like you know the frustration because the customers does not know like why it the item like her stuff is not delivered yet because she's she says she orders since 6 30 in the morning and she's like she's diabetic she needs her stuff but she still doesn't have her stuff and I'm like oh my god I cannot help you with it like I'm really sorry like they even told me that you know there's some problem they never gave me the things and i don't even know why they gave you my number to begin with i'm like isn't there some headquarter or number on where you ordered to like cancel your order or complain and get your money back and she's like i don't even know what that number is i guess she's supposed to do it in the app instead of like the traditional way of calling or something there's a way to do it on the app or something because i never ordered through walmart spark or whatever it is like or is it just a regular I used to order through just a regular Walmart, like, you know, to pick up or drive up. But even, I think during the pandemic, you know, the toilet paper issue and the, the, um, the, uh, the cleaning supplies and stuff. Like sometimes if there's some on the Walmart, I sometimes order it and then I wait forever as a customer, not as a driver. I wasn't a Spark driver back then. I just got in the platform on November of 2023. So it's just been like three or four months that I've been doing Spark. Um, yeah, but that's weird. Like, what is this a joke? Because like, pretty much how it's, um, yeah, I don't know if you, um, when I was on the phone, see the customer at 802, it's 830 now. At, currently, I am at just 38 bucks including that seven bucks compensation from spark but see the customer marlene i don't know if um i was recording conversation with support i said the customer's marlene called me at 802 okay i don't know if that's her really her number how the heck are they giving my number to like customers they're supposed to resolve it and know what happened it seems like they don't even know what's going on or like they know but they're trying to like push the blame because like they don't want to return the items yet or what like because like if they have to go through the process of returning the money it takes too much time so maybe they're just stalling or something and just like oh that's the first thing they could think of like give the, one of the driver the number right so I don't know but that it's ridiculous like I understand like there's problems that arises but this is the most ridiculous thing you can't tell a customer that I took the order and I never delivered it when you never even gave me the items you even told me there's a glitch that you haven't gathered all the items yet that the order just came in so what is this like this could potentially even get my account deactivated because of this false unorganized whatever the crap is going on like I am sorry and I've seen some people like just talk really in a angry way about a platform and got deactivated but seriously I need to even complain myself like what is going on like you can't just say something that's not true to your customer about a driver because I never took the order I don't, I don't know how many times I have to like say this to you guys like yeah the order I got nothing from their store to be delivered and it was canceled right there and then you even told me to cancel the order so so yeah then after I got off the phone with that lady she's like oh my gosh like yeah like I know you have problems but I have problems too because I was like lost trying to deliver the next thing I'm like okay I'm like doing something else right now I'm not even on spark I t I'm like yes I was a, I'm a driver but I'm not I didn't even do one order on spark today or whatever but she understood and she's gonna try to resolve that she really needs to resolve that though not only get her money back but she probably needs like some compensation too as a customer right <laughs> because like yeah six I don't know I've never ordered the same day delivery I don't know how many hours they guarantee your items get delivered but yeah if you're on like a time thing and they guarantee your items be there at a certain time and it never arrives this or you don't know and it never arrives and it never arrives and you have no idea what happened to it like yeah that's like a like a problem and they probably need to give you like a free whole year of membership or something <laughs> Yeah, then the DoorDash driver called me and he's like, yeah, um, yeah, go through that street. But he didn't get mad or anything, but yeah, and it was a leave at door. And here I am, like, 
I noticed a lot of people were out getting gas, getting food at Popeyes. I think people are getting their own food today because it's too expensive to order out. So I think as a driver, like, you know, if you're trying to find money through gig work, I think we need to like, that's why I wanted to do that spark one because it was getting slow, you know, and because I know groceries is so essential so that people order, like even if they don't order food, you know, but groceries is still something that you might have to like, do even though it takes longer or whatever i came to get my own personal stuff then i got the still taco one probably gonna do it in the next seat hi welcome to el taco hi i'm just picking up a doordash order for brie m please okay guys the window. thank you Bye. it wants a picture of a re the receipt for some reason okay Sometimes they ask that. That's probably just a late night craving. Should I go into their door? Put it here and just have a issue kind of like opening the gate. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I think this is Oh please. Let me try again. Oh my god. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay, yeah, I knew, like, I kind of just wanted to do one more, which I got that Del Taco, so I got it during when I was like, I wanted to just grab a few things. I got like some bread to eat with peanut butter later, some shrimp, this salmon thing. It comes with like four pieces. I like to get that salmon at Target and it yeah it's, you fry it put some salt in it and with rice and stuff it's really good so i just grabbed that and then um i just ended with 46 bucks today it was like 17 dollars 25 cents on doordash it's telling me oh look you didn't confirm it in time there was some mcdonald's order but when i looked at the screen there was nothing so definitely some a glitch day today is some like weird glitch day um this is weird. They said that today I earned 17 and then when it completed the the dash, it said I only earned 12? Oh no, no, it was 17. I'm, I was not seeing things correctly. Yeah, so 17.25 on the dash. Um, my dash started 5.30, but I could start like 5.15. 5.30 that I got the order. It's 9.30 right now. It was 22 and 25 on Uber Eats and then $7 compensation for Walmart's spark and then that's it you guys um yeah another like 40 ish day and that is just for you to see how it goes in my area of delivering um i'll continue to share what happens in day of delivery again i really appreciate those who are here from the start and the new viewers and those who are still sticking around you guys i will see you in the next video guys see you in the next one Bye.